Hey everyone, it's Christine from Indigo Wings Healing. Um, today I'm here to do the reading for the week of January 16th through the 22nd. Um, if you're reading this at a di or watching this at a different time, um, you know it, it doesn't mean that the message is not for you. If it's something that resonates with you, um, you know when you see this video, the message. Um, is perfect for you right at the time that you see it. Um, I'm going to jump right into this. Um, I apologize if um, I'm a little um, rushed or if my energy is coming across as a little, I don't want to say frantic, but um, rushed because I felt like really um, driven and like I just like, have to get this information out. Like I just needed to get it out. Um, so I may be going um, a little quickly with this. Um, so before I get started, um, really quickly, um, I'm using the um, John Holland um, Psychic Tarot for the Heart deck. I'm using um, the Angel Tarot deck by Doreen virtue um, and then I'm also I have a card at the end um, that's from uh, Colette Baron Reed's Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Um, you'll notice that there are way more cards out than I usually have. Um, it's still the same spread. Uh, I just I felt like I I needed um, some clarifiers and more clarifiers came out than I intended to and um, I just felt like it kind of told a story for me, so I just left them out. Um, as always, this side is the feminine energy, this side is the masculine energy. Um, so I'm going to get started. So I'm going to start over on the feminine side. Um, I thought it was really interesting. Um, I had two cards come up. I had the solar plexus chakra and I had the heart chakra. And... Um, I actually, the, I mean, these are the two, first two cards that I pulled, and I feel like um, they're kind of like an overall theme for this reading, and I'll point out where I saw the theme. Um, the cards are three and a four. Three, um, I talked about this in my last reading, um, harmony, connection. Um, this is big, and I feel like it's coming up again in this reading because there are some of you that need the reminder that there, no matter what is going on with you right now, you have that connection. Um, the, the, the harmony is there spiritually, even though you don't feel it um, physically or in the 3D right now. Um, and then we have the heart chakra that came up, and this is a four. Um, with this number, I'm getting patience. And this is also um, a, a card that came up as a theme. And um, so what I, you know, I think it's interesting. This came up, it was in the same place um, for the feminine last week. And so I feel like I, I need to reiterate um, on that message, that feminine, you, you need to get into your power if you're not working on um, taking your power back and getting into that place of your own power, you need to do it. You need to start working on that. Um, because it's affecting your heart chakra is what I'm getting here. It's, a, it's affecting the openness of your heart. Um, and so there were a few times where, you know, when I went to go pull out clarifier cards, you know, I only meant to pull three and um, there were a few different times where four came out. And so I just went with it. So um, what I got from these clarifiers, um, you know, I have two air cards, um, which represent to me that um, a lot of what's going on with the feminine right now, she's in her head. She's thinking a lot. Um, and then I have a fire card, which is about you know, your passion. Um, and then you have the chariot. 
And it's really interesting because the two air cards, we have the six of air, which is about um, things looking up. You know, you're at the end of a difficult situation. And then you have the nine of air, which is uh, self-fulfilling prophecies, expecting the worst. If you're expecting the worst, that's what you're attracting to you. And um, I feel like the feminine is just constantly, there's like a, a battle going on in her head um, between, you know, everything's going to work out, keeping the faith, and oh, just screw it, I give up. <laughs> um, you know, there's a lot of just confusion and chaos and frustration I'm feeling from the feminine. Um, and, it, and it's all up in her head. But then um, I get the two of fire and um, this, is, this is two best friends. They're setting out on a journey. And what I'm, the message that I'm getting with this is that, you know, you, you've got to just keep pushing forward. You need to continue moving forward. Now is not the time to give up. Keep going. Um, this is also a card of new partnerships or contracts. I'm not saying a new partner's coming in. I'm not saying that this is, you know, your twin's coming back to you or, you know, union, anything like that. But um, I, I feel like it is a message um, that there's growth within the relationship and you, you just got to keep going. You got to keep moving forward. And, you know, I'm saying moving forward. And then the other card is the chariot. Um, seven, indicative of you're on the right path, spiritual path. Um, and the chariot, or the chariot is... Um, it's about willpower and it's about moving forward. It's a card of movement. And so I think that, you know, the message with that is very clear. So then for the feminine, we have the trust card, which is, um, you know, if you're comparing this to a traditional tarot deck, this is the equivalent of the fool. Um, you know, and it's all about taking that leap of faith, having, you know, that blind trust that, you know, the, the universe is going to take care of you and you are just going to go for it. And, you know, when I pulled this card and I've been looking at this card, I'm distinctly feeling that it's the opposite of this for the feminine they they know they need to be in this place but they just can't get there right now they're just not in the right head space or heart space to do that and so the clarifiers that i have um for this and again like i feel like it's just so representative of what is going on in the feminine's head of just the back and the the back and forth um you have the five of water which this is a card of um crying over spilt milk feeling like you missed an opportunity and that is not the case um you know you're you're missing what the positives are in the situation which in this case you know i think for a lot of the feminine you're missing you're not seeing the growth you're not seeing your growth. You're not seeing the masculine's growth. You're not seeing what things are going well, um, and so you're just you're just not in the great a great space. But then you have this card, which is the six of fire, which is it's about um, victory, um, good things happening, good news coming, and um, you know again it's kind of like the feminine's like. Oh, what did I miss here? What did, you know? Why is this not working out? And and being disappointed, but then saying, "Hey, the best is yet to come. Um, it's gonna work out. I'm. At, this is all gonna work out in my favor." Uh, you know, just going back and forth, and you know, the water card being emotion, and the fire being passion. And I, I mean, I think that that is just extremely um, accurate of what is going on in the feminine you know there is a lot of emotion and passion over um what she's going through right now 
But then the next card that I got for that is the Knight of Earth, which this is all about getting things done, um, which I feel like is it, it's just such an obvious and clear message to you. You got to keep moving forward. You got You got to. You got to take that leap of faith. You need to get to the place where you can do that, um, and, and you need to get into the place where you can take back your power. What is it that you can be doing to get? to this place um you know i talked about in my last reading you know um and, and it's come up a few different times this week feminine what can you be doing to take your mind off of this what can you do that feeds your soul um you know working on mission work helping other people helping yourself self-care like what things can you buckle down and start working on because this is clearly the message here so I want to go over now to um, the masculine side for a minute. The card that came up first is Seek. And what I got from this card right away when I saw it is that, you know, the, the, the masculine's been going through a lot. There's been, I, I feel like there's been a lot of chaos. Um, not only in their heads, you know, in terms of trying to figure things out, but I feel like outwardly, I think that there's a lot of stuff going on in their lives. And um, the thing, and I apologize if you can hear my dog barking right now. Um, the the thing that I really think that is happening is um, there is there are a lot of masculine twins who are either newly awakened or they are still waking up to the spiritual side of themselves. And that also cause, causes a lot of chaos and um, confusion and just all kinds of feelings that they're just, they just don't know what's going on. And I feel like this is, um, they're going within um, and they're really trying to figure things out and they're looking for the truth. They're really trying to figure out what their truth is. Um, this is another one of the cards that four clarifiers popped out. And, um, you know, again, you've got, I've got four, or I've got three fire cards and a water card. So we're talking about a lot of passion and emotion um, with what's going on with the masculine here. Um, and I feel like what this is saying is that, you know, the fire of fire is kind of about, um, you know, competing goals, uh, you know, and I feel like whatever's going on with the masculine, you know, maybe there's like decisions that he's trying to make or trying to figure out like his own personal values or his own personal beliefs and they're, they're clashing, like things are not... Um, fitting and he's he's trying to figure that out um you know for in some cases there may even be um situations for some masculine twins that um they're just flat out having conflict with other people in their lives it could be um their current partner karmic relationship you know something like that um and then you have the eight of fire and this card is about things beginning to happen very quickly and um you know i i feel like these are related that whatever's been going on that's been causing conflict and confusion for the masculine um things are starting to move and change and things are just happening very quickly for him right now um, but it, it's like they, at the four of fire, they want that peaceful, happy, contented life. And, and I believe that that is one of the conflicts that's going on. There's all this craziness in their lives but what they really want is peace um, and contentment and these things are just um, they're just com totally conflicting with each other 
and um they're they're trying to seek the truth of why is this happening how can they figure it out how can how can they um overcome this and um we get the eight of water and so the eight of water has a few different um meanings one of them is a desire to move on and i do think that that is applicable to this with all of the conflict and things not fitting together for the masculine absolutely they have a desire to move on from that but more so they're at a point where they are searching for something more meaningful in their lives and this is also a card of um, spiritual and emotional growth and as they seek the truth about what these changes are that are happening in their life and what these revelations are for them that's exactly what's going to be happening here is spiritual and emotional growth which is good and that's one of the things that you know the feminine you're not seeing that you're not experiencing that and so it's easy to feel like it's not happening and it's not working out so the next card is take the lead another three again the harmony and connection and um i felt like that was very interesting again i got four more cards and so this is where the fours are popping up um in multiple places where four clarifier cards came out um the four of earth is a card of um being too frivolous or too cautious um and, and i feel like that's kind of a, what's been going on with the masculine when it comes to trying you know trying to make a decision you know it, he's concerned that you know if he goes one route he's being too cautious if he follows his heart he's being too frivolous um you know and he needs to find a happy medium um but then what's interesting you know with the take the lead i feel like um you know they're reaching for this fire and this light and so I feel like you know he's reaching for um, like a spiritual understanding and a spiritual awakening but also um, it's this is just confirming so this card 13 um, it's release and one of the meanings of this card is um, the end of a phase or a situation so which and i feel like that is whatever it is that's been causing a lot of conflict and strife and um negative feelings from that is what needs to come to an end that's what needs to be moved on from but then there's spiritual transformation and i really feel like that's um, what these cards are showing for the masculine um and then this card, the Queen of Air, what stands out to me for this card, um, clearing away what no longer serves you, which again um, relates right back to that, the release, the end of the phase or situation, the spiritual transformation. So I feel like, um, you know, the masculine is really taking the lead on the growth, his personal growth in this area. Why? So the Ten of Water. Um, which is a contented and rewarding family life and your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships um, you know I feel like the the changes and the transformation that are being made this this is the goal this is where he wants to go with that so back over to the feminine side the last card I pulled for her was helpless and hopeless and this is a card of indecision, not being able to make a decision. And you can see as you look at um, this card, you know, she just she doesn't know what way to go. Um, you know, she feels stuck between a rock and a hard place. No matter what she decides, it, she's not going to be happy. She's not going to be satisfied. Um, you know, when you look at this card, they each path that can be chosen looks exactly the same so you know there's not even an indication that one path might be better than the other 
And so the clarifiers that I pulled for these, which I think um, are really telling, um, strength, which is an 11, which I don't think is an accident that I pulled a card that has an 11 on it for that helpless and hopeless, the feminine trying to make a decision about where to go and what to do. Um, don't give up, not yet. Um, you need to have compassion, forgiveness for your twin. Um, release any of the judgments that you may be holding toward them. Remember, you may not be seeing the the emotional, the spiritual growth and transformation that is taking place with them. You may not be hearing about it, but it's happening. Um, and so try to release your judgments about what is or is not happening in the physical 3D right now. Um, and also, you know, this is just indicative of the immense amount of strength that the feminine has to follow her path and do what she needs to do. Um, going along with that, the nine of fire, don't give up. is literally what this card is. Do not give up. Uh, protect that which you've created. Um, have courage and believe in yourself. So one, again, feminine, work on that confidence. Believe in yourself. But also, you know, protect that which you've created. I don't, I'm not saying this is about protect your relationship that you've created or protect the bond or anything like that. I think it's more about protect that beautiful and unconditional love, that heart space that you have been working on and creating. Um, work on that. That is what you've, don't let that go. Don't, um, you wanna protect that. Um, and then the two of air, which I kind of laughed when I saw this because, um, it, it, I mean, it's basically the helpless and hopeless card. Un being unwilling to make a decision, um, you know, and if you stay where you are, if you don't make a choice, you're just going to be at a stalemate and, and nothing's going to get better for you. Um, so you got you to gotta choose what path you want to go down, but the other two clarifier cards are clearly, they're clearly telling you what path is best for you. Um, so over on the masculine side, we have manifest and then master. And so this card um, is actually, if you were, if this was a traditional tarot deck, this would be the devil. And it's about um, the illusion of being trapped. So you see how there's a cage around his heart. Um, they feel like they're trapped and they need to be careful because we are in a time of powerful manifestation. We're in a one year, in a one month. Um, and so the more they think that they are trapped, which is an illusion, the more they're going to manifest that for themselves. Um, and, you know, it's almost like, again, I'm just getting, you know, and I thought it was funny that I had two cards come out for this spot down here, but two cards um, for the feminine down here. Um, but I, I almost feel like the masculine and the feminine are in very similar positions right here that they are just, there's a back and forth. They don't know what to do. They don't know what the best decision to make is. Um, because with this, they want to step forward and make their dreams come true. And they're going back and forth between saying, hey, I got this, I can do this, but I'm trapped. Um, and so the clarifiers that I pulled out with this 
um, is the three of earth. And I feel like what's happening with this card is that it's a three. So a reminder again of the harmony and the connection. But it's it's kind of serving as a reminder for the masculine that they are capable of so much more than they realize that they are. They don't think very highly of what they bring to the table, but they bring a lot to the table. Um, this is, you know, very high quality work. Um, and, and they need to have that belief in themselves on that. And then we have the sun, which is happy outcome and having confidence in yourself. Um, so to me, it's saying that, you know, the masculine can overcome this illusion of being trapped. They just need to have more confidence in themselves um, with that. And then um, the page of air. And the page of air, the pages are messengers. And this card is about challenging information, delays or changes to plans, the truth delivered without tact. And I got a couple messages with this. Um, for some of the masculine, I'm feeling like they feel trapped because what they would like to manifest, their desires, their dreams, their um, ton of water, every time they think they might have a way of having it happen for them, there's a delay in the plan or the plan changes or something doesn't work out the way they hoped it would. And so they just feel trapped. Um, and then with some of the masculine, I feel like what this is saying is, um, you know, they feel trapped because they maybe didn't treat the feminine the way they should have, or they, they don't think that they treated the feminine the way they should have. And so they want this ton of water, but they feel, um, they feel insecure and they feel trapped that that they're stuck where they are, they're not going to be able to um, get to where they want to be because um, either they have not been able to the express themselves well in the past, they're afraid they won't be able to express themselves well in the future. Um, so there, I, I sense like a lot of concern about um, that they're concerned about how they'll be received. Um, and how their their truth, how their messages will be received by the feminine with this. And so they're almost using that as an excuse to say, I'm stuck where I am. So where, what the crowning energy is or where both the um, masculine and the feminine are heading is the sadness and isolation card. And I feel like this card came up last week. It's also, we have the three again. And, um, you know, even though it seems, you know, there's a lot of um, internal work being done on both sides with the masculine and the feminine and definitely struggles and sadness, it's taking them to this beautiful place of surrender and trust. And the clarifier cards with this... Um, Really, I feel like um, the first one I pulled said it better than me. The first clarifier is the dreamer, which is that trust, that leap of faith, that surrender, um, following your dreams. And, and I feel like that is exactly what the person on this card looks like they're doing. Um, but what I got with that, the other cards that came out with this is the emperor, and what I'm getting with this card is that you need to let go of the expectation 
of how things are going to be and how things are going to work out. Um, you need to be flexible and um, kind of let go of the rules. If you don't, you know, th this is kind of just about like be open-minded. Um, this is not an open-minded card and so you, you need to be open-minded because if not, you're going to get right back into your ego. This is a card of getting out of your ego, which is exactly where we want you to be. Um, don't fall into that trap of getting stuck back in your mind and getting stuck in the ego. In the ego. Um, we don't want to go back into those negative and fear-based thoughts. So at the basis of this, our grounding energy is nurture. And normally what I would say with this card is that, you know, it's all about self-care and self-love, which we should all be practicing those things anyways. But I really feel like what this card is saying, and again, we have another three. It's about nurturing our spirituality and our spiritual growth. Um, and I really feel like that's happening for both the masculine and the feminine. Um, you know, this woman is reaching to the light and has a sun behind her and she's in a garden and it's just all about, you know, tend to that garden. And um, I think that the more that this is focused on, the more we'll see good things coming from that. So for the energy that the feminine is bringing into this is joy and stability and so this to me is very simple so here's the four so another theme of that four that patience and I really think um, especially for the feminine you need patience you need patience um, but at the, at the end of the day the, the energy that you're bringing the desire that you have is you just want joy and stability you just want peace um, and you, you have the ability to, you, you can do that. You are in charge of this. Um, if you just trust and let it go. And then on the masculine side, we have another four. Again, patience. And, um, I felt like this was so perfect and going with the theme of what's going on with the masculine. It's open up. And I feel like, um, you know, there's a desire of the masculine wanting to open up more, um, just in general, talking to people and, you know, maybe talking to the feminine and just sharing what he's going through, but opening up spiritually. You know, look at that light up at the, you know, at the top of their head, um, coming all the way down. Um, you know, there's definitely that spiritual awakening happen, happening and they're really opening up to this connection and to their spiritual connection. So that's good. So let's see if I missed any cards. Oh, so at the bottom of the deck when I was done um, shuffling the um, heart tarot deck, at the bottom is heal and uh, I, I do feel like what is going to be taking place over this week is um, you know it's another push for healing another push to move beyond blocks and and move beyond um, any of the things that are holding us back from coming into union with our twin um, so I felt like that was a really nice card to see at the bottom of the deck so I pulled an oracle card um, just as an overall to talk about. And the card that I got um, was flexible. And so it's upside down. I'm doing that on purpose um, because these cards, um, when they come upside down, they have a protection message. And um, so I... Um, I'm going to read you the protection message. Usually what I'm asking for is a relationship message. Um, but since it came upside down, I'm going to share with you the protection message. 
So it says, when you or someone else becomes too rigid, you lose the access to growth and untapped potential and find yourself in an us versus them scenario. Loosen up, open your mind and heart, and see if a more flexible approach feels better. Rigidity will set you up for a fight where there are only losers and no winners. Could you find a way to bring about a result that is mutually beneficial? Meet in the middle. Spirit makes a great mediator. Um, and I felt like that was just kind of the perfect message to kind of sum up this entire reading, um, especially for where um, the feminine and the masculine are going to be coming together. I think it's going to be really important um, for both parties to be flexible. It might not be a coming together the way you are expecting. And so we have to let go of that attachment um, to the outcome and we have to let go of what our expectations are because remember um, when we have expectations of things we're actually limiting ourselves because the um, the universe could have something so much better than we could ever have imagined planned for us and um, so we don't want to limit that with our own expectations and I feel like this was a really really good reminder of that so um, I hope that was helpful for you and if you um, feel like that resonated with you and are you, you are interested in a private reading with me, um, you can find more information on that at my website indigowingshealing.com. Um, I also have a Facebook page where you can um, find me that way and I have a Facebook group. Um, the Facebook page is um, facebook.com slash indigowingshealing. And the group is Indigo Wing Soul Connections. Um, I do want to just put out there, um, right now when I do readings, I am only offering them in an email format. Um, I spend a lot of time channeling messages um, through, and it's just easier for me right now to go back through and um, edit and reread and you know make sure that the reading is um, something that I'm happy with um, than it is for me to do a video reading or a Skype reading. Um, I will be adding Skype readings in the future. Um, I'm just not doing it right now. So just so you're aware when you are looking at my um, website or my Facebook page, um, that is currently how I'm offering readings. Um, we can certainly discuss if you um, have any questions about that. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, if you liked it, please click the like button comment what you think below um, and if you're not a subscriber please hit the subscribe button so you are notified as soon as i post the newest videos um, with that i hope you guys have a great evening and i will see you next week take care